How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Let me quickly show you how you can download a VPN APK for Android. Now, you want to choose your VPN first. Let's just go ahead and demonstrate it with ExpressVPN. Now, on your Android device, you want to go to the ExpressVPN website. If you want to benefit off of an exclusive discount, click the link in the description down below and you'll be able to claim that discount. It'll be applied automatically. And then go to Download VPN and go to Android VPN APK. And then you'll be able to download the application on on Google Play, but if you don't use Google Play, you have the option right here to download the VPN APK. And it's the same, by the way, for Nord and Surfshark. And now I have it downloaded. So I can go ahead and just let it download, but I don't really need it. But whether you're on your computer or you're on your phone, just let it download and then you'll be able to use it. Now, of course, you're going to have to set it up. So let me just show you guys how you can do that. Right here, we do have how to enable APK installations on your Android device. So first of all, if you're on Android 8 or above, so if it's a Samsung device on your device, tap the settings, then apps, then tap the options right here, tap special access, install unknown apps, tap the browser from where you will download the APK such as Chrome, if prompted, toggle allow from this source on, and that's pretty much it. If you're on a non-Samsung device, on your device, again, go to settings, tap apps and notifications, go to advanced, special app access, then tap install unknown apps, then tap the browser where you will download the VPN from, such as Chrome. I know most of you guys are using Chrome. And then when prompted, toggle allow from this source. And if you're on Android 7 or below, tap on tap settings, tap security under device administration, toggle unknown sources on, and that should be it. Now, there's something you want to keep in mind, and they have it right here as an important note. After the download is complete, you should disable APK installations for the app from where you just downloaded the APK file immediately, because this will prevent installing potentially harmful or malicious apps from unsafe sources. So make sure that you turn it back off after you download the APK. And again, if you don't want to mess with that, just go ahead and download it from the website itself. But for some of you guys, if you want to go through the APK download route, then this is how you can do it. Just make sure that you turn it off. And it's the same, by the way, for NordVPN and Surfshark. I just wanted to quickly show you a demonstration with ExpressVPN. And by the way, if you're looking for this uh, page yourself, it's very easy. Just click ExpressVPN and here you will have how to enable APK installations on your Android device and you'll be able to use that um, again the guide here but it's very simple so there's really nothing complicated you should be able to get it done just from watching this video but the idea behind this video is to show you the three best vpns that you can actually use and to also give you a good recommendation depending on what you're looking for because the vpn market is quite oversaturated with too many vpns out there and it can be confusing as to which one could be the best choice for you and that's what i'm here to help you with. So ExpressVPN is going to be the best of the best overall. It's the most reliable, consistent, and easy to use. You've got over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, and you'll be able to secure up to five devices per subscription. It's just that ExpressVPN only has the kill switch and split tunneling, which are the two most necessary features that you'll need with a VPN. You don't really need much more than that. I personally use ExpressVPN on the daily, and um, I don't really find myself using any other <laughs> VPN features. Now, some of the features that come with NordVPN, though, are very useful, such as threat protection and dark web monitor. Threat protection will act like a mini antivirus. So if you don't have an antivirus, this will act like one. And dark web monitor will keep an eye out for leaked data linked to your email address and other personal information. And you have a bunch of other bonus features that can be very helpful. And so NordVPN is a very well-rounded option that offers a whole bunch of bonus features for a very reasonable price. It's got over 5,500 servers in 60 countries and you'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. So that's one more device than ExpressVPN. Now, if you're looking for the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without really sacrificing any of the necessary security features, then you can go with Surfshark. It's got over 3,000 Toronto servers in 100 countries and perhaps the best feature, you'll be able to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription with Surfshark, which is definitely a huge plus. 
All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.